Okay, look at column number 2. So here already get 1 and here already get 0. So now we want to change 2 to 0. Okay, what method to change 2 to 0? Okay, there is only one method to change element become 0. Multiply all the elements of a row by a scalar and add the product to another row. Okay, so we will create the formula to get 0 from 2 here. Negative 2 times row 2 plus row 1, you will get new row 1. Okay, so row 2 and row 3 just copy back from the previous. Okay, now, okay, change row 1. Negative 2 times 0 row 2 plus 1 row 1. You will get 1. And then negative 2 times 1 plus 2, 0. Negative 2 times 3 plus 3 equal to negative 3. And then negative 2 times 3 plus 1 equal to negative 5. Negative 2 times 0 plus 0 equal to 0. Negative 2 times negative 1 plus 0 equal to 2. So you get new row 1. Okay, let's look at column number 1 and column number 2 here. So all already changed to 100010. Next, move to column number 3. So first step at column number 3, you must change negative 1 to 1. Okay. Multiply negative 1 by a scalar negative 1. So negative 1 times row 3, you will get new row 3. Okay, row 1 and row 2 remain. So just copy back from the previous. Okay, now multiply all the elements in row 3 by negative 1. Equal to 0, 0, positive 1, positive 2, negative 1, 0. Now you get new row 3. Okay, let's look at column number 3 here. So here already changed to 1. Now we want to change 3 here equal to 0. Okay, so the formula is negative 3 times row 3 plus row 2, you will get new R2. Okay, so you just copy back row 1 and row 3 from the previous. Now we want to change row 2 by using the formula that we create. So negative 3 times 0 plus 0 equal to 0. Negative 3 times 0 plus 1 equal to 1. Negative 3 times 1 plus 3 equal to 0. Negative 3 times 2 plus 3 equal to negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 1 plus 0 equal to positive 3. And negative 3 times 0 plus negative 1 equal to negative 1. You will get new R2. Okay, now look at column number 3. So we already changed 0 and 1 here. So now we must change negative 3 to 0. Okay, so create the formula. 3 times row 3 
plus row 1, you will get new row 1. Okay. Row 2 and row 3 remain. So you just copy back from the previous. Okay, now we calculate row 1 by using the formula. So 3 times 0 plus 1 equal to 1. Next, 3 times 0 plus 0 equal to 0. 3 times 1 plus negative 3 equal to 0. 3 times 2 plus negative 5 equal to 1. And 3 times negative 1 plus 0 equal to negative 3. 3 times 0 plus 2 equal to 2. So, we already changed the left side here equal to identity. So, the answer will be at the right side. Therefore, A inverse equal to 1, negative 3, 2, negative 3, 3, negative 1, 2, negative 1, 0. Okay, we take it from the right side of the matrix.